It's finally here. Empires of the Undergrowth 1.0 update. Final tier of uh, levels. Final ant species. Uh, the end, most importantly, the end of the story. I've been waiting for this for like a year almost. Since last September, I think. So, let's get into this. I'm going to be using my very first colony I made, where I actually made some pretty terrible decisions when it comes to the loadout. Got some new art here. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of it, but that's okay. So, uh, by the way, if you haven't played this game before, then this is not the video for you. This is very, very endgame stuff. So, we have this new thing. Instead of rehouse the colony, it's passage of time. This is my first impression, by the way. I've, I've not done this before. See what becomes of the colony. Delivery! I haven't put in any request. Looks like a super capacitor. You're probably after microelectronics. Next flora. All right, nice. Passage of time. So my theory is that the scientist is going to come back and steal us, and he's going to do the final exp his final experiment, and then we're going to escape and become an invasive species. That's my that's my theory. Aha! I told you I'd be back. Oh! <laughs> my poor ants! What has happened to you? Don't worry, I'm here now. One final experiment and this will all be over. We'll need to get your strength up. Eat this for now. I'll be back soon with more supplies. Sit tight. Mm. Ah, need something to stand on. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Interesting. So, I was correct. He snuck back in, but he didn't bring us with him. Makes sense that all the ants would be dead because, you know, no food. By the way, there's this new thing, which is inspect creature tool. Inspect a creature, view its current stats. So it tells you, like, everything about it, which is fantastic. I, Because now you don't have to go to the wiki to see all the stats and stuff. It's great. Can you do this on dead things? No. Food. No. So I have pretty much the worst variants of all the ants, because I didn't know which ones were the best. So, I have pervasive fire ants and uh, stun majors. Although stun majors aren't really that much weaker than taunt majors. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and collect all this food, and then I'm going to be back. Oh, actually, no, let's read this first. With food entirely spent, most of your... Eh? Something just happened? Okay, maybe not. With food entirely spent, well, most of your colony is starved. The nest has fallen to ruin and the queen is barely clinging to life. All territory and food has been lost. An amount of jelly has been awarded based on your prior colony size and resources. You have gained access to three more levels and a new form of carrying challenge. In these, you can play as Matabelli Ant Raiders or Termites? <gasps> Oh, oh, that's so cool! Oh my goodness, I am so excited. For recurring challenge before it can no longer be repeated. I, oh my goodness, I love termites. I've been a huge fan of termites for a very long time. And I did not expect that you'd have two ant, two species you could play as in the final levels. I mean, I figured they'd make termites playable, but I thought that would just be in, like, free play or something. That is incredible, I'm so excited. Alright. I will skip to when I've got all this food. Okay, let's take a look at these levels. So collect some food, place some ants. Kept, I th it looks like I kept one ant from each uh, type. 
Let's see, 5 1, 5 2, and 5 3. Triage, drive them back in last mound standing. Or I could just skip to the real final experiment with like four ants. That's cool. <laughs> Triage, the savannah is dangerous at night. These Matabelli ants must ensure their nest is well defended. Select a unit option. Anesthetist. Ants have a sting that slows enemy movement and attack speed. At level 3, their sting also increases physical damage to the target. Fast responder. Ants have fast movement speed, are not slowed by brood tiles, and nurse fallen ants back to health faster. At level 3, they gain a high chance of evading attacks when out of combat. Let's go with this one, I think. Fast movement speed is probably really helpful. All right, I'm so excited. I, this is basically Christmas to me. I've been I've been more excited for this update than I have been for Christmas the last few years. Escorted by a small entourage of loyal soldiers, this young queen has set out to establish a new colony on the edge of the savanna. These are Megaponera analis, the Matabeliants. They are large, fierce, and specialize in raiding termite nests. Okay, here this weird staticky clicking. Uh, whatever. Matabelli ants. It's pronounced Beely, but I'm just gonna say Matabelli because that sounds better. Will, on the whole, ignore food sources other than the termites they hunt. Food resources other than termites will provide greatly reduced resources. Get your soldiers to a termite mound soon. Interesting. We start out with a huge amount of stuff. I'm excited to see the new level. Okay, I think that's just the music. So let's see what unit options do we have. Whoa. Matabelli and Medic. The Matabelli may be predators, but they are very picky about their prey. The other creatures nearby are insignificant compared to the vast and replenishable bounty locked within the local termite mounds. Raids are conducted at dusk and dawn, and the night is almost over. It is time. Are we just being thrust directly into the action? Okay. Uh, sure. I'm only on medium. I'm try. I'm gonna try and see if I can beat these levels uh, on the first try. At least one of them. Okay, what's this? Uh, worker. Yeah, we know how that works. Um, medic. Carries injured colony members home and rehabilitates them. Increased movement and patch-up speed there and- There are three Macrotermes bellicosis termite nests in the vicinity. The Matabili must choose a target quickly and move with purpose. You're not expecting us to fight these guys immediately, right? It, I mean, it says that we're supposed to, so I guess we should. Uh, okay, so that heals them. Generates threat. But I think the that means termites, enemies target much them. The smaller than the ants, are far from easy game. They have their own soldier casts whose job is to make the raids as difficult as possible for the ants. With durable head armor and keen jaws, it is not uncommon for the defenders to maim and even kill raiding soldiers. Oh, as dear. soon as the Matabili have enough food, they should leave without delay. Oh, oh goodness, we're supposed to be collecting food. Oh dear. Uh... quickly kill the remaining ones and then grab the food and go. Okay, cool. Look how big these guys are! They're huge. So we have medics and battle ants. Matabelli soldiers are large with reasonably high health and are also equipped with a powerful bite and sting. The sting will cause venom damage over time, supplementing the physical damage dealt a by the jaws. A common earwig Ooh. for Ficula auricularia has locked jaws with a Matabili ant. This nighttime scavenger won't shy away from a scuffle, especially if there's a chance it'll end with a meal. Okay, I'm uh, having a little bit of trouble. Actually, if there's a chance it'll end with a meal. 
I'm having trouble here. This is interesting. And for some reason, there's no subtitles for that last part. Uh, Alright, well, I don't need to worry too much about... Um, about... Uh, which I'm gonna call it. So I assume these guys are gonna get more and more powerful and eventually attack us, so we can't lollygag. Okay, those are soldiers. Those are also soldiers. So let's get some medics. 75. Oof, that's a lot of food. How much are these? 140! Oh dear. Uh, hmm. Well, let's just keep going, I guess. Oh. Termites have two casts of soldiers. Minor soldiers hamper opponents, slowing, confusing them, and increasing physical damage to them. Oh, great. They're like army at majors. Major soldiers increase nearby colony members' attack speed with each attack. Oh, jeez. They're just constantly buffing themselves, presenting a minimum to medium to low threat. The earwigs are an annoyance more than anything. The adults can use their pincers to inflict higher physical damage intermittently. Medics can carry their fallen comrades back to the colony where they will in treat wounds. In most ant colonies, injured soldiers are left to die on the battlefield, but the Matabili do not forsake their sisters so easily. Ants wounded in battle and unable to walk release pheromones calling their comrades for help. If unburdened raiders are available, the casualties are carried home and nursed back to health. Interesting. Hey, what's this? Disable casualty transport. Ah. That is so cool! <laughs> oh, I'm geeking out already. Of course I am. Why would I? What the heck is that? Seven plus one, seven. Workers plus recuperated workers, max workers. What? I'll figure that out eventually. This is a big map, dang. So I assume I'm supposed to kill all these guys. Treatment is performed near the colony queen. Each brood chamber tile can support one healthy ant and one recovered ant of the same type. A ant can only be treated if there is at least one matching brood chamber tile that is not already supporting a recovered ant. This is complicated. I like it. Reminds me of the uh, leaf cutters. Leaf cutters. Which makes sense because each ant has each ant species has been more uh, complicated than the last. It says seven plus one. What's the plus one? Does that mean I can have plus one a uh, healed ant or? doesn't mean I have to uh that looks like a tiger beetle the battle has begun does it mean I have to have that many uh I don't know man also it says we're the savannah but this is like desert it's even got the Arabian desert music going Just gonna focus on growing my colony as fast as possible. Oh, a oh. tiger beetle, Dromaquida elegantia, has spotted the ants. This exuberant red hunter possesses all the usual traits: keen eyesight, long, powerful legs, and efficient carving jaws. Similar to other tiger beetles, this variant stuns nearby enemies. Compared to others, its stun has a smaller radius but longer lasting effect. Radius is not important. As the midday sun rises overhead, the termites retreat into the cool depths of their fortified mounds. Raiding at this time would be troublesome, and there would usually be little reason for the Matabili to leave their nest. However, West African rainbow lizards, Agama africana, have come to bask in the clearing. If too many are allowed to gather, the evening raids may be disrupted. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Oh, this is interesting. I'm not gonna worry about upgrades. Uh, I want more medics. 75, that's crazy! I mean, each term I drop like 25 food, so that's cool, but... 
Look at this lizard! Look at it! It's so cool! Ah! Yeah, savannas are supposed to be like... Grassy, you know? Like the place where lions hang out. Recovered ants are weaker and can only be treated once. If an ant falls in battle for a second time, it dies for good. Medics will prioritize casualty transport over attacking unless your casualty transport is disabled. Fast responder medics are not slowed by brood tiles. They perform treatment faster and have increased movement speed. At level 3, they gain a 40% chance to take no damage when hit while out of combat. Okay, so the soldiers don't get the bonus, just the medics. Okay, that makes sense. So cool. So cool! Uh, Alright, well, what I need to do is I need to get food. There is food indoors, so I'm going to go get that. Yeah, I'm used to playing on, like, impossible difficulty with the challenge active. On most levels. Or at least hard, sometimes extreme. So, uh, I'm not too worried about difficulty here. I mean, it might be bad, but I don't know. The ants must defend themselves. Actually, we're attacking, but close enough. Why is this? There's so much undiggable stuff here. That's annoying. Uh, let's not do that yet. Alright, this music's alright. I was worried I wouldn't like the music because I didn't like the uh, swamp music that much. I'm so excited to use these ants. Look how big they are! I bet they're gonna be huge when we fully upgrade them. Well, I mean, we're not gonna- I'm not gonna do that here. The Matabili workers have unearthed part of an African stink ant tunnel. Uh -oh. This one appears to be deserted, a remnant of a past colony. Ah! Turn on combat, you fool. Oh, I always have combat turned off at the stupidest times. Are those the stink ants? Probably not. They don't look much like ants. As dusk begins <gasps> to set in and the dusty yes! earth cools, the termites march out of their mounds to collect dead wood and leaves. Time for the Matabili to replenish their larders. All right, excellent. Let's the upgrade. workers have done all they can to yes. improve these food stores. Yes, I know. All right, let's get out and kill us some termites. Oh, these are my dead guys! <laughs> Why? I sound so excited. Yeah, normally they just vaporize after they die, but we can uh, recuperate them. That's neat. Let's actually do that. We'll make it so only the medics can recuperate. Or are these the only ones that can actually do it? I don't know. The ants must defend themselves. Again, we're attacking, not defending. Okay, each drop 24 food, that's neat. Yeah, look at that, they're carrying the others back. Oh, that's so cool. Ah. Uh. <laughs> by the way, I had like 90% of this update spoiled because the devs could not keep their mouths shut. Okay, look out, look out, look out, look out. I forgot, uh... They tend to respond very quickly and aggressively. Okay, so I think, yeah, this is showing the number of recuperated ants you've got. Pretty sure. Oh, we got a lizard. Lizard. The large rainbow lizard will fire its, fire its tongue at enemies, and consuming those in an area and gaining a short heal. Its bite damages enemies in a large area. At low health, it will run away, taking nearby smaller lizards with it? The rainbow lizards are immense, and more than capable of dealing with a few ants. The Matabili colony will need to make a significant show of force, and target the lizards one at a time to stand any chance of driving them away. We got some dead dudes. It's funny, I was so excited. Oh, there's dead guys. <laughs> cause uh, that that cause that means I can, you know, repair them. Repa yeah, that's what you do. Heal, whatever, it doesn't matter. Words. English. Ah, they got stingers. Right, kill all these dudes and get the food. Grab the food. Uh-oh. We're getting soldiers. Run. 
Just grab the food and run. No, no more fighting. They're gonna keep fighting. So I assume my goal is to kill all the termite mounds, but it doesn't say. This is the first level where it doesn't say what your goal is. That's interesting. Okay, let's see. What path will they take to get there? Okay, so I'm gonna put them here. Oh, I haven't had, this whole time I haven't had my medics go in there. That's interesting. I imagine you could accumulate quite a lot of ants with the uh, healing. Ooh, cool, he just ran him into a tunnel. So yeah, look at this. They're termite mounds, so they got these huge piles of rocks and stuff. That's very cool. How do you get in? Over here. Let's see if we can kill some before they all run away. So yeah, the music is pretty cool. I like it better than the swamp music. I'm talking way too fast. I need to slow down. I'm just so excited! I am so excited. This is absolutely awesome. Oh, okay. Objective, survive for nights? Really? That's it? As night draws in, nocturnal scrubland specialists emerge from their hiding places to hunt. For the colony, the benefits of facing down these beasts are far outweighed by the cost in soldier casualties. Especially since we Fortunately, can the nest entrance is too small for the largest and most dangerous arthropods to crawl through. The ants will be safe underground. Oh my heck, I keep turning combat off! You absolute fool! You dunce! Alright, 850 food should be plenty. Let's uh, get one more healer and... How much do these cost? 140, okay. So they're like Leafcutter Majors. My jaw just dropped. This is the subjugation music. I love this one. Subjugation music is one of my favorite songs in the game. My favorite song is The Harvest. Probably just some little termites. The ants will fight to the death. Wait, it told me I need to go outside and fight stuff. I forgot. Those look like giant earwigs. Uh, they're all far away from my nest. What heck? Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of how many blockades there are. It's going to take forever to get around those. I mean, it'll take longer for enemies to get into my nest, but that's really not... I mean, that's just delaying the inevitable. It's better to just kill them outright as soon as they get in. What are these? Are those the stink ants? They might be. Alright. Ooh, scorpion! Alright, let's go get him. Sick him! Attack, charge, fourth. Okay, make sure I have combat turned on, except for the medics. It's tiny. Look at the teeny little guy. Way smaller than I expected. They're going in one by one. That's not great. The Matabili have crossed paths with an alligator back scorpion, Hottentotter, Hottentotter. Wandering out into the open tonight on the hunt for insects, this sturdy arachnid uses two muscle-packed pedipalps for crushing its prey. And if they don't do the job, it can strike from above, spearing victims with its tail-mounted stinger, delivering a dose of paralyzing venom. The sky brightens, and the nighttime scavengers begin to dissipate, leaving space for Matabili raiding columns. Alright, cool. Ah! What the... There we go. The alligator back scorpion has very high health and is armored. It attacks with its pincers and its stinger can jab two targets in rapid succession, paralyzing them and dealing venom damage. It can grab and sting high health targets for huge venom damage. How long have I been recording? 24 minutes. This is gonna be a long one. FOUR NIGHTS! This is gonna be like two hours or something. 
unless the knights are shorter than the other levels, which it doesn't seem like they are so far. Look how big these guys are. The ants must fight. We got poison, yo! I saw poison clouds, that's awesome. Music's alright. Nothing to write home about. Probably shouldn't have made that last one, but I wanted it to be symmetrical, and I'm stupid, so I did that. Fortnite. I may not finish this level in this video. It's just to record my uh, first impressions. Actually, no, I'll just edit it down if I have to. Edit past, skip past the uh, boring bits. Or less exciting bits, anyway. This whole thing is interesting, not boring. I think this place is closer. Let's go here. So it seems like during the daytime, the best thing to do is go underground. And at night, the best thing to do is... Um, it says I should fight the predators, because I have the benefits outweighing the something. No. And then at dusk and dawn, I need to fight the termites. Are they gonna invade me? I feel like at some point they're gonna invade me. Ooh. The ants must defend themselves. From what? Oh hey, go get those. Medic. Need healing. Need healing. This is so cool that they can revive dead soldiers. That's so cool. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, this is not disappointing so far, and I'm incredibly thrilled about it. Turn on combat, you dunce! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I am a complete fool. I can't believe it. <laughs> Keep turning combat off. Good thing I'm not playing on Impossible. I would be dead already. One baby termite would attack the nest, and I'd just be toast. Uh-oh. Retreat, retreat. So it seems that once you've triggered the... Ah, great. Got a bunch of rabble here. Uh, let's turn off food collection real quick. Actually, I don't want these guys collecting food right now. I'm gonna turn off food collection until I get to the... Oh, man, they're all running away. I'm not gonna be able to get there until before the daytime ends or whatever. It sounds like I should kill the lizards so they don't get in the way, but they just run away after enough time. The so. temperature outside is rising, and the termites retreat inside to escape desiccation. Okay, I can still get to them. Combat's on. Good. Good. Hurry up! Why are you not fu- Oh, those are the medics. Alright, well, I can get, like, f maybe four food. I can go in the nest, but that seems like a terrible idea, because I'd probably get myself destroyed. I would get my abdomen handed to me. Well, I got a lot of ants. Holy cow, I got like 41 total? Looks like. These lizards are pretty small potatoes so far. Okay, they're sending a bunch of soldiers. Let's just get the food and get out of here. I think that crackling noise is the music itself. It is! Why did they put... this? Uh, it sounds like my headphones are breaking. Why did they do that? Why, why did they put that there? I'm gonna try and not just talk the whole time, just so when there's like silent bits, I can just skip past that and everything.
The ants must fight. This is so cool. I'm enjoying this so far. That guy's not too tough. The scorpion was tougher. And away he goes. Dang, look at him go! Look at him go! He's zooming. He's doing a heck of speed. I doubt I'm gonna lose any guys here. I don't feel comfortable making more tiles. So apparently I don't... The Tlemites will soon venture out once Ooh. again to forage. For the hungry Matabili ants, now is the time to strike. Okay, so these guys, can they actually not? I guess they can't revive ants, can they? Guess we'll find out. Because, uh, I would assume that would be the case, because then there'd be no the point of having the, to the death. other guys. Alright. To the mounds! Yeah, it says these lizards are going to be a problem, but they really have not been. I don't know why they were so fussed about it. So we got another tiger beetle variant. We got scorpitons. And something else. Forgot what it was. Oh yeah, earwigs. So what are these guys collecting for food anyway? Oh, I guess they're collecting that. The ants must fight. Turn on combat! <laughs> the ants must fight. I'm never gonna master that. That's just a skill issue. They got a lot of food. Let's spend some. Not that much! Some decent food from them. So it looks like you only have you only get to attack them a little bit before they start uh, before they start bringing out the soldiers. Eventually, I suppose we're going to be strong enough to kill the soldiers and maybe enter the nest, but not now. Would it be a bad idea to try and wipe out the nest because then I wouldn't have the food. Yeah, so, um, I got most of this update spoiled for me, because, uh, well, first off, the devs accidentally leaked, like, half the, <laughs> half of it, because they're doing a live stream, and somehow they accidentally spoiled, like, they accidentally showed a bunch of stuff. Look at the baby earwig! They accidentally, um, showed a bunch of stuff. It is quiet tonight. Usually the undergrowth would be Ooh. bustling with nighttime predators. But few have surfaced. Something has them spooked. Uh oh. Uh oh. That can't be good. Okay, combat's on. Good, good, good. Always want combat to be on. Tremors can be felt from within the nest. Oh dear. There's a creature on the move, and it's getting closer. Oh 
Oh, that sounds re that sounds really bad. Eh, oh, boy. Eh, oh, boy. Okay, let's turn combat back on in advance. There we go. That's good. What the heck is that? Oh, it's a camel spider. I think. Look at it. It's huge. Is it coming towards me? So I thought it said that something was in the nest. I expected that would mean it would be burrowing in. Okay, he can't fit. A fully That's grown good. sun spider, Zaria Kisarlingi, has found the nest. She's looking for a burrow to lay her eggs, and this is the perfect spot. No, it isn't. Unable Go to away. Fit through the entrance, she'll need to dig her way in. <laughs> this could be disastrous for the colony. The sun spider has bulldozed through the nest entrance and into the tunnels. She must be stopped. This is very cool. Okay, good. Combat is on. Oh my goodness! It's got a machine gun. Yes! Haha. <laughs> it is finished. The sun spider was finally bested by the ants, but not before decimating the nest. That's actually the cavern good. she left in her wake is Wait, now what? likely to attract even larger creatures. The oh, colony no. had better be prepared. Okay, I was thinking that's a good thing, because now I have more uh, space, and it's easier to get out, which is good, but it says that it's going to attract more. Sunspire is fast, powerful, and has high health. Each strike will execute an ant. It will intermittently stun ants in a large area, and at low health, its thrashing will damage and confuse all nearby ants. Okay, cool. Why are there termites out? It's nighttime. I mean, I'm not going to complain, but... Alright, I am back. Had to go uh, to take care of some stuff. Gotham needed me. The ants they, must uh, defend activated themselves. Activated the muffin signal. <laughs> I cracked myself up. No, the food's the food's going. With the sun spider threat eliminated, the Matabili have an opportunity to raid freely while the termites are active. <laughs> they should make the most of it while they can. Forgot forgot that they do that I'm big smart my genius is sometimes it surprises me but not in a good way <laughs> my brain is just off I'm just I'm I'm so my brain's so fried from being so excited and hyped about this update 36 plus 14 I wish it would tell you the total amount that you have because I assume it's higher than 36 right I mean I can't count I can't count. I, well, I can count, but I can't count them because there's too many. Oh my heck, turn on combat, you freaking loser. Uh, oh, hi. Fighting tiger people. Get those away, get those away. Should I? I don't want to put them in the first group because then they'll start fighting. I don't want that. Get some more of these. Got 14 of each. So yeah, once I... Uh... Okay, turn on combat. Good, good, I remembered. So it, um... It seems that once I've wiped out a few termites, then it basically becomes inaccessible for more food because the soldiers show up. Clear up some space. No such thing as too much space in this game. I do actually kind of like this music. It's not phenomenal, but... I think no, not that much. The ants will fight to the death. Okay, combat's on. Excellent. That is good. As soon as I see these dudes coming, I'm gonna run. All right, run. 
Why is he over there? Oh, he must have been chasing a guy. Excellent. So, I haven't really needed to revive many soldiers, have I? I've only got like 14 that have been revived. That's interesting. We will see how important and useful that skill is. That's so cool, it dug through the nest, that's awesome. Uh, so let me see, now that I have cleared out the dudes, I'm gonna go here. Also, um, by the way, it's really hot right now. It's like 80 degrees, 84, something like that. So uh, it actually feels like I'm in the savannah. Some immersive VR there. Four little babies there. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I forgot to bring it them all the It is almost noon, and the termites go to ground. Uh -oh! So the raids are unlikely to be fruitful. For now. Okay, he's huge. I hope he doesn't invade my nest. He probably will. I feel like that's something that he would do. What the, how am I supposed to get in here? Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Look at this! Oh my goodness. Hunting the French toast sandwich. So I'm not sure what to do during the day. I guess I could just kill those lizards. They're really not a threat. They're not a problem. Oh yeah, I was going to say something about the spoilers. So the devs accidentally spoiled the final ant species, so everyone knew about it. Then, leading up to the update, they started posting a bunch of like videos and stuff and about the update and they would put those on the steam page so every time you launch the game you see those so it was literally impossible to avoid spoilers because they show up every time you launch the game which is kind of sucky it'd be nice if you could the ants must defend themselves play a game without having to worry about stuff. I assume that we're going to get attacked through here. I actually had a dream about the update where we were underground like this and there were there's like an enemy colony of ants that were digging through to our nest. So maybe that was slightly prophetic. Right, well, I'm going to go fight this lizard. Is that worth? It's not worth it, is it? I mean, he's just gonna run away. It's not like I'm gonna get food from him. So what even my... Let me try that again. What even am I supposed to do here? Also, I noticed that I'm not playing as a term. I didn't get the option to play as termites, even though it said I could. I wonder if maybe I'll do that on the other levels? Or if that's the thing you unlock after you beat the levels, you gain the ability to to uh, play as a termite. Yeah, one singular termite. That's going to be fun <laughs> in an RTS. Eh, let's go kill this dude. I'm going to put the healers a short distance away so they can... The termites are ramping up their activities. Ooh. The Matabili should seize this opportunity before the nocturnal predators are too numerous. Well, let's do that then. Sounds like a good idea. I like this map. It's very open. I like the big open maps. Those are my favorites. I can see myself playing these levels quite a lot. Where are the the ants must fight. Are? I'm actually standing my ground against these guys. Oh, but they're just, they're still coming. I can't take all of them on. So let's just uh, retreat a bit. Yeah, they're still coming. They don't stop coming. I'm sorry, that was, that was a cringe joke. Whoa, they're following me? Okay, no, they're not anymore. 
That was a little scary. I was like, are they gonna follow me all the way back to my nest? Oh, hello. Lizard. Fight the lizard. Sprites. Sprites. The models in this game look so realistic. Is it even possible to kill these dudes? Oh. Ask question, get answer. Cool. Cool. I guess that's because I... Uh, oh, no, no. The medics are here first. Hold on. Hold on. They're not good frontline battle soldiers. As opposed to all those non-battle peace soldiers. I don't know why I felt the need to say that. Where is everybody? There they are. This is actually kind of a bop. This some music. combat. That's always a good idea. The gaping nest entrance is unlikely to go unnoticed for long. The Matabili uh -oh. should stand guard. There will be invaders tonight. Very convenient that the narrator tells you what's going on. Got a little psychic ants. This is a long level. It's been like 40 minutes already. Not sure how I feel about that. I mean, it's, it's fun, but... It'd be really nice if you could save your progress. That'd be fantastic. But apparently they had a lot of trouble with that. Like, just getting it to work in free play was really hard, apparently, so... Nice open space. That's good. I like that. Oh, hi. Centipede. An African giant centipede, Etmostigmus trigonopodus, approaches the nest, searching for a... Alright, hang on. I want to count the legs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 plus 19 is... 38, I believe. Yeah, that makes sense. So 38 legs was a 38 apede. Searching for a good ambush spot, it wasn't expecting to find an ant colony, but now irritated and hungry, it confronts the soldiers. Despite its great size, rows of segmented armor plates allow it to remain agile, and its forward legs have been modified into fangs, with which it can puncture and inject venom into its victims. Combat's turned off! <laughs> Jeez, cry money Christmas. I was like, man, this dude's tough. I'm a fool. I'm a fool in a bug's shoes. Okay. Well, thanks for giving me more room, dude. I'm genuinely not upset about that at all. Does it cost food to re-spawn 
dudes? I don't think so. Giant centipede is an incredibly strong creature. It can deal huge venom damage with its fangs, leaving a damaging area on the ground and kick its legs to stun creatures at its side. Slamming its body to the ground causes physical damage and knockback in a wide area. So yeah, we are in Africa. Don't know which part of Africa exactly, but it, we are in Africa somewhere. Somewhere. So it seems like the play is to keep the medic ants away from the battle until it's over and then bring them in to resurrect everybody. The giant centipede is dead. A lesser colony would have surely fallen to the monster. Although the Matabele Queen has survived, the undergrowth remains perilous. The ants should clear the carcass and replenish quickly. Night is over, and the raiding window opens once again. Oh, I want to kill a scorpion. Don't run away, I want to kill you. No! No, don't run away. He's The battle be has begun. Oh well, I can kill him later, I guess. I'll most likely kill you in the morning. Wait, it is morning. So I don't think I need too many medics, actually. I'm really glad I chose the variant that gives extra speed, because that is necessary in this map. It's so big. Which I'm not complaining about. I love big maps, as I've previously mentioned. It is a bit hazardous, a bit annoying to get food back, though. I didn't lose anybody. Oh, cool. One more guy here. Now I'm going to make another uh, nest tile nursery for me. Oh hi. Lost a few dudes. This is so cool. Oh my goodness, I love this so much. Turn on combat! Turn on combat! I wish there's a way to turn it off just like temporarily. So I don't end up freaking dying because I have combat turned off. Rainbow lizards are beginning to arrive. The Matabili would do well to keep them in check. There's two food on it. I have, it takes two ants digging at it for like five seconds to get that two food. That's a little annoying. 
wish there was more underground to do, because there's not much to do in the daytime. I mean, I can fight this guy, but again, there doesn't really seem to be a point. I'm gonna do it. I bet you. I bet something cool happens if you do that. I mean, it's probably nothing spectacular. Look at all these ants. You can get so many. This is so cool. Man alive. I wish it would tell you the total number of ants you have. 22 plus 18, that's 30. 20 plus 12, that's 32. The ants must fight. Oh, gall. Oh, okay. <laughs> he just ran right past us. That's very neat. Why is combat on for those guys? That's not cool. That's it. 13 food. Okay, so there's actually no reason to fight those guys. Unless they, like, actively hunt me down or something, there's no point. What's your foot doing? I think the crackly sound is uh, part of the music track that they put in accidentally. I hope you can hear me. I'm gonna turn that down just in case. The sun has almost set, the sand has cooled, and the termites resume their harvest. Seriously, is there sand on savannas? Because I feel like there's not. I've been recording for like an hour now. And we're only halfway through. Definitely gonna have to edit this one down. Ooh, cool. How long do these guys stay here if you don't collect them? So I thought that uh, Matabele ants would just like heal nearby ants. No, they resurrect them and bring them back from the dead. Which is infinitely cooler. The ants must defend themselves. Objectively cooler. Looks like I'm not going to be able to revive everyone, but that's funny. Oh, this guy's ignoring everybody. Oh, no. Oh! Okay, it's grayed out showing that I can't use those guys to heal. Or revive. That's cool. Everybody go.
darkness looms, and the Savannah arthropods emerge to hunt. There is but one the Matabili have yet to face, the greatest amongst their number. It comes tonight. That's not scary at all. It's gotten pretty good with the hotkeys in this game, which is very helpful. It can speed it can speed you up a lot. You up. Oh, here it is. Ooh, big scorpion. It is here, Pandinus Imperator, the Emperor Scorpion. Growing to 20 centimeters in length, this true titan of the undergrowth dwarfs almost anything that crosses its path. With bulging pedipalps, equally effective for digging up insects and tearing them apart, this is... The Emperor Scorpion has incredibly high health and armor. Its attacks deliver damage over a small area and it can slam the ground, sending ants flying. At low health, it goes into a frenzy, rapidly striking opponents and gaining increased attack speed. That sounds bad. But this encounter could mean extinction for the colony. 30,000. That's more than, like... A lot of stuff. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. The queen is in imminent danger. You know what? The medics are fighting today. I need all the help I can get. I think this is the final boss. So I'm almost done with the level. Good. It's been a bit long. God. The queen is in imminent danger. This is the hardest boss so far. That's crazy. At least in any of the levels. Still have a lot of ants. Are just all getting confused and getting pushed back. Almost got him. Yes! Even as wave after wave of soldiers were crushed, the Matabili would not relent. The fiercest raiders mounted the beast whilst maimed defenders sliced at its joints. Finally, the Emperor Scorpion fell. Having bested the three titans, the message to the Savannah Arthropods is clear. Confronting the Matabili in their home will only end one way. I beat it on the first try! I mean, it, it was only on medium, but I'm still happy about that. Extra royal jelly, because you should always choose that. See if anything happens in the formicarium. 55 minutes, that's a lot. It's the longest level so far. Hope the others are a little bit shorter than that. I'm not going to be making videos on the other two levels, I'm just going to play them on my own. Why are there footprints on the <laughs> chair? <laughs> uh, wait, where the seeds come from? Did the guy, the dude, him, put them there? You have gained access to Matabelli Medics from the adapt Adaptations menu. These come in two forms, Anesthetist or Fast Responder, and have their own upgrades and minor improvements. I kind of wish I could get the Warriors too, but oh well. <laughs> but oh well. All right, well, that is, uh, triage. Um, yo, look at that. New game plus. Oh, that's going to be great. All right. So that is triage, the first level of tier five of Empires of the Undergrowth. Um, 
Oh, uh, actually, there's one more thing I want to do. Matabelle ant. Whoops. Mega Panera Analysis ants act as medic second drag, fallen sister ants from the front line, back the nest, and patch them up. Okay. Anesthetist ants have a sting that slows enemy movement and attack speed. At level 3, their sting also increases physical damage to the target. So that's combat. Fast responder ants have fast movement speed, are not slowed by brood tiles, and nurse fallen ants back to health faster. At level 3, they gain a high chance of evading attacks when out of combat. Oh, so the healers are the only ones with a speed boost. I guess that's why I didn't really notice much of a speed boost, so... And why they kept getting to the locations I was sending them first. I'm thinking this is probably the best one. I mean, I'm not going to be using them for fighting much. I'm mostly just going to be using them for healing, right? So I'm going to choose that. Fast Responder. Yes. Let's see what abilities we got. Sustain. Each attack restores... Let me try that again. Each attack restores a small amount of health to nearby allies. Or preserve. Matabelli ants emit an aura that regenerates health out of combat. It can stack up to five times. Out of combat is not helpful, but this requires me to be in combat. Field medic. Fallen ants are tended to slightly behind the front lane rather than in the nest? That sounds incredible. Surgeon. Reduce the debuff of restored ants. Ooh, that, uh, that could also be good. Ah. Uh, I think field medic is probably the best. Eh, uh, well... I'll think about it. I'll, I'll figure that out eventually. So that is the the level. That's that's uh, how it goes. That yeah, <laughs> great job. Um, so I'm gonna end this video now and play the rest on my own, and hopefully you will too if you watch this without playing the game. Uh, why? But also, uh, hopefully you didn't get much spoiled for you. I mean, you only really have the last few levels, or one of the last levels spoiled for you. So, next, uh, next, uh, I'm ending the video. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Outro words. Bye.